These engines use a combination of metric straight thread O-ring fittings and tapered pipe thread fittings, depending on the application. A press fit between the liner and the block aligns the top of the liner in the block bore. The cylinder head gasket provides the coolant seal between the block and the liner. The mid-stop seat seals the lower end of the coolant cavity. A D-ring liner seal is used to separate the oil cavity from the coolant seat. A specific liner protrusion must be obtained when the liners are installed. Service shims are used to assemble the liner to the specified protrusion after machining. The crankshaft is a forged steel, full fillet hardened, integrally balanced unit. The crankshaft thrust is controlled by a flanged upper bearing shell, which is located in the number 4 main bearing. Oversized main service bearings are available for use with reground crankshafts. An oversized flanged upper shell is available to permit cleanup of the thrust surface. The ISC engine from its introduction to 2002 was equipped with wide camshaft lobes, wide faces on the sliding tappets, and push tubes with hardened sockets on each end. These components reduce stress and wear, which eliminates the need for overhead adjustments during normal scheduled engine maintenance. For proper valve train hardware installation, refer to the TNR manual for color code and identifying mark information. The rear camshaft expansion plug pushes against an O-ring to help prevent leakage.